I'll just bring you back for a, I suppose, a catch-up video now of where I'm up to with the with the Mazak mission, uh, rebuilding the CNC lathe, whichever way you want to say it. I'll uh, just sort of bring you in on the uh, spindle motor because it was one of the uh, things that I was working on and I did show a bit of it in some earlier videos. I just wanted to show it to you before I put it back in the machine. So as you can see, it's a huge improvement over what we're looking at in earlier videos. Um, it's probably the first thing that pops out straight away is the nice brass fitting up the end here for the uh, electrical work coming in, uh, the main, all the main supply cable coming in through here. Um, probably a lot of the stuff I'll be probably showing you here is um, probably a recap of all the previous videos of the work I've been doing so far. Um, the electrical box here which has been blasted and painted in a semi-gloss black. Um, the outer covers here all been blasted and repainted in a matte black. Just take you inside now where we're looking through that hole uh, with where the cooling fan bolts on. As you can see inside there uh, where all the gunk was through that hole there. You can see the huge improvement over that. As you guys have already seen that in the previous video where I was half cleaning that and I just brought you in and show you what I was up to. So it's all been painted in a semi-gloss black. There is a photo on my Instagram if you guys are interested, but not a big deal. It's just um, all cleaned up as you guys have seen and I've, I've repainted it all, but it's came up very good. Um, replaced all the screws, obviously. Um, the other videos that I did cover was um, removing the uh, removing bearings and replacing bearings. So I've done those. That was on this state on this uh, rotor. Uh, so that's nice. Now, not that there was anything wrong with it before, but I thought, well, while I'm in there uh, pulling the motor apart, I might well just go through and just do the whole thing. So just bring you around the back now. Uh, another one from a previous video was the blasting. When I was blasting this cover and I was repainting this cover. So it's come up nice. So it's been painted in a semi-gloss black again, the same as the electrical box there. And you can see the end of the motor there, which is um, all in the, in the uh, matte black. Uh, cooling fan sitting over there on the side there, which will bolt up where that hole is. If anyone needs any um, spare roller bearings, I've got about 400 of them sitting in here from changing those um, bearings in my linear slides. Just got them sitting up on the bench here for you guys to get another look at. Get another look at. So we've got the two rails there ready to bolt back on the machine now, so they're all being done, as you guys have seen in the previous video. But I decided to just sit them up here and um, give you guys another look at where I was up to. I'll just pause you and just take you have a bit of a look at where I'm up to. So I'll put the uh, motor mount and just show you a few other things and then we'll come back and I'll just finish off the video. So another thing was in those previous videos was the uh, motor mount uh, where I was in, um, in my grinding room or my dirty rooms, I like to call it, cleaned up that motor mount. So I've got this all uh, mounted back in the machine now. I've just finished putting this back in, all bolted back in. I've got to lower the motor back onto this surface here. So that's all done now. All the threads have been um, reamed out so that all the bolts screw in nicely. So that probably takes a fair bit of time to clean. It's definitely a lot easier pulling the machine apart than it is putting one back together, that's for sure. It's very, um, fairly tedious doing all the reassemble work. Just bringing you around to the front now, just showing you the, the setup for the, to set the um, tension for the belt. So that was one of the parts that were painted, sandblasted and repainted. So that's just sitting there sort of loose at the moment. So we're waiting for the uh, belts to go back on. I did show you a little bit of that side. So uh, reamed all this thread here. It's got a, um, you can probably see it's a little bit damp looking, so it's got um, anti-seize on there. And then when I get the um, spindle mounted back on, I can put the V-belts back on and adjust the uh, tension on the belt. So it's just sitting there waiting for the motor at the moment, just sitting in there level. So I can just lower that in and bolt that back in. I might just um, lower the motor back in and just show you um, that probably just sitting in, in the machine. We'll see how we go anyway. Just one other thing, I'll just come up with just the uh, feet that I've made for the um, the machine base to sit on. So I've made these out of, um, just out of offcuts actually. They're actually 316 stainless, probably a bit overkill, but um, just I thought, well, well, I had the material, I thought I'd just make them out of that. So they just sit. So the adjustment screws just sit in there. So that's the adjustment feet there set your height for your feet. I'll just paste in here with some um, anti-seize anyway just so it can uh, spin on there. So I'm just going to get the main thing to try and do now is just get the motor back in today and then get it lowered back down and get all these seven feet back on. So we've got a stack of them there so they're all ready to go back on now. So just getting everything ready and just get it sitting back on its feet for the first time so I'll be able to take away the uh, machine skates which it's sitting on at the moment as you guys have already seen not a big deal but 
And I'll just show you a bit of progress, what I'm up to, and just bring you on anything that might be of interest or not of interest. Just show you the stages along the way that it works and I'm doing at the moment. The next thing I'll probably go back in is down in this area here will be the uh, hydraulic uh, oil tank there that'll go back in with the pump sitting on top. That'll all make sense to sort of build my way up from the bottom. So spindle motor, oil tank, uh, spindle, sort of things like that. Start putting the rails back on. I won't bother taking you up and showing you on top. I've got a little bit of stuff sort of not stored up on top, but I've got a few bits and pieces. So I'm sorting through, uh, just going through. Um, it's been a while since I pulled this machine apart and I've just got to go through and sort through all my parts. Uh, what's what and where goes where and bolts don't worry me so much because a lot of the bolts will get changed or um, you can sort of sort, sort out the sizes but different things that fit onto the machine. It's, as you can imagine, there's a lot of parts for this machine but, um, which I won't worry about boring you and showing you all the parts. You'll sort of get a bit of an idea as we're rebuilding the machine along the way. But that'll probably do for this video. I didn't want to make this too long. I might just pause um, pause this and get the motor sitting back in there. Just let you guys see what that looks like sitting back in the machine. I'll just bring you back quickly just to show you the motor um, just mounted in the machine now. It's a nice feeling to have something actually going back on the machine. <laughs> it actually looks pretty good in there. That's why I thought maybe it might be worth bringing you back. It looks, doesn't look too bad in black actually. It um, makes me think of some of the other things that I've painted in another colour or powder coated in another colour. Maybe should have done in black now thinking about it. How good it looks good in, uh, how good it looks against that colour. But as you can see, I've just sat the cooling fan back on um, the top there at the moment, just so you guys get an idea of what it looks like sitting in the machine. I'm uh, just going to put a couple of bolts in there, of course, or screws in. I've just got it sitting on there with the uh, mounting bolts at the moment, of course. Uh, nothing much to really show you that much. I'm uh, looking forward to getting the rest of it in here. It's a pretty nice feeling to have um, some see some progress, I suppose you could say. Take it down a little bit lower, just to show you the actual... The mount, um, so this has to always be adjusted up obviously, so everything's been bolted down in place, the main part. Uh, this has got a, uh, a taper a taper lock on it, so when the motor's, um, uh, the belt tension set up, you just wind these through, socket head screws in, and that actually locks it into place. So it's got a taper fit in between there, we can see a bit of a gap in between there, so it's got a taper fit. A slight taper fit, so actually when you do, the, as I say, do these three bolts up, it actually pulls this in into position so it actually locks it locks into position after you've got it all locked down so it's it's not really going to go anywhere you've got four grub screws um, you've got the adjustment screw around the front which I'll just quickly take you back around the front I probably don't need to but I'll just show you why I've got you uh, see this heavy duty unit sitting here um, so this is all there's a bit of mucking around getting this back in again so all the threads have been reamed yet. So that's the thing that just takes so longer to clean out all those threads from the blasting. Obviously, you're going to need to do that after, especially after blasting and, and painting, clean out all the threads. So that's the thing that just takes so long just to just put a couple of simple bolts back in. I probably spent all up, probably without a joke, uh, probably about an hour just putting this section back in because I've got to remount the threads, uh, clean up the threads too. So I clean up the threads on the wire wheel, get any... Um, crud just make a nice clean thread like I've done with this one chased out the thread uh, and then paste it up with um, anti seize uh, same thing with all these bolts these, these are all got anti seize on them it just it just um, unbelievable how quick the time goes you're just thinking oh probably maybe 15 or 20 minute job and you look it's already an hour and a half's already gone and you feel like you haven't done anything actually I really haven't done much but um, it's good to have it back in the actual machine again you know, it's just sitting in there nice now and just um, Happy to see some actual final progress. So now the next job is to get these things sitting on the floor and wind those feet down and kick these skates out for the last time. So the next time this thing gets moved is is if I um if I'm ever fortunate enough to have another workshop. That's the only time this machine will go out of here again. This machine will pretty much see me out. That's probably some of the reason for um, having this machine and going through all the trouble. Uh, as I've mentioned before, there's a few machines I would love to buy, but with the amount of work I plan to do, uh, this is enough of a machine for me, so this this will this will see me out, I think. Um, I don't see myself as doing a, a long-term, um, doing CNC turning, and this is enough to do the turning work anyway, two axis, and you can do any of your, of your live, um, live tooling work, you can just do that on a mill. It just saves time if you do it on a CNC lathe if you've got live tooling. But you can just take it out and do it in a milling machine. So that's just a time-saving thing. So that's a, probably a bit of an overkill for me. 
as I say, I'm not a production shop, I'm a repair shop, and this is just a, uh, a machine on the side to do the jobs that I need to do. That was the whole point of it, just to have a very nice machine to do the work that I wanted to do and, and just bring you guys along the way just to show you the rebuild. But that'll probably do for this video. I clicked over that 10 minute mark, that'll probably do. Um, and I'll bring you back for the next one as I do some more work on it. Okay, see you guys later. Okay, bye for now.